Hello, Enid. My name is David Mason. I'm mayor-elect. Um, I wanted to tell you about a new show that we've started. Uh, it will view twice a month where individuals be able to send in questions, usually two to three questions. Uh, we'll try to answer every single uh, two weeks. Try to keep the public informed on the things that are going on that they, they have interest in. Um, I will also be bringing in some of the different commissioners to talk about things that are happening in their wards as well. You can uh, be able to look on the screen and see the email that you can send those questions to. For our very first show today, uh, since I'll be taking over in about a week, I wanted to ask our current mayor, Mayor uh, Pinkerton, to come in today and uh, honestly I'd like to ask some advice. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had several questions, three or four questions I'd like to ask you and get your opinion about and uh, if that's alright, but thank you so much for being here today and being on our very first show. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm pleased to do that and uh, very happy to, to help however I can, not only today, but as your administration continues. Uh, I was 47, you're number 48, and one of the rules is we all help each other. Yes. So anytime you need to call me, you call me. And that was actually one of my questions. I wanted to know if I could call after, yeah. uh, after you finish up, but I do appreciate that. Yeah. And I'm sure there will be a lot of uh, questions as I move forward. Mm -hmm. So let me start off with this, uh, just, uh, just kind of your time commitment. How much time per week do you feel like you spend uh, with uh, city business? Okay, I, there's a lot of variability as you might, as you might guess. Uh, for instance, this week we have city council, so you're going to be a lot busier this week than you would in the weeks that you don't. But I, I figure about probably 20 to 40 hours a week. Um, that could be low or high. It's not a. It's more a gut feel than a scientific mm -hmm. analysis, if you know yes, what I mean. Uh, but I, I did write down a few of the things that you can expect to do that are going to be coming up. Okay. Um, I kind of figure preparation for study session, council meetings, probably about five hours a month. So you figure uh, five hour. I'm sorry, five hours twice per month. So it's about reading through all the pre-material that you have to do before the meetings. Uh, that takes some time digesting it, maybe asking a few questions about mm -hmm. it before. But a lot of the folks that are watching us on on the city council meeting, uh, there's a motion, there's a second, everybody raised their hand, and it's over, and everybody thinks, how did that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, it happened because, as you know, uh, from your time as a commissioner, a lot of homework went into it before that yes, ever sir. happened. So yes, you got sir. all the homework done, you're just doing the formal part of the voting. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Uh, anyway, uh, so actual study sessions and meetings, probably four hours twice a month. Reviewing and signing paperwork from the meetings, you're gonna, when everybody else is done, you get the opportunity to sit down for another couple hours and sign all the papers for all the things that happened during the course of the meeting. Okay. Um, I, I like, uh, I've kept a pretty tight relationship with Vance, so I go to every graduation, so that's every three weeks, and they have a formal dinner every three weeks. So that takes some time. I'm actually looking forward to that. I oh, yeah. had the opportunity to go out to yeah. assignment night. Yeah. And that was just incredible. Yeah. So yeah. I I sure hope I can keep that relationship that, that you worked very hard uh, to build with Vance. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he will. Uh, staying in touch with the community. You know, things that you don't even think about, but going to Ambux, going to Rotary. Mm -hmm. You gotta be involved if if you're not involved in those things, you really don't get the pulse of the community. Yes, sir. Because if you're waiting for somebody to come up and ask you at dinner, that'll happen, whether you like that or not. Uh, <laughs> but you really get a sense of what people are thinking and what they're doing because they feel more comfortable with you if you're in their audience. Mm -hmm. So it's important to do that, but it takes time. Um, probably conversations with city manager, attorney, police and fire chief, maybe five hours a week, some weeks more, some weeks less. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you add it all up, I'd say probably uh, 20 to 40 hours a week. Okay. I mean, yeah, 20 to 40 hours a week. Okay, very good. That's very helpful. Uh, <laughs> what was the favorite thing that you were able to do as mayor and why? Okay, I think there's, it's hard to say a favorite thing. I have to give you maybe two. Okay. Uh, the first one is presenting proclamations uh, because you get to participate in significant events, uh, both for families 
and for community. You know, if it's a ribbon cutting, you get to go over mm -hmm. there and talk, maybe give a few words. Uh, maybe you, maybe you, the city helped them get started. Uh, and then personal proclamations. Uh, somebody, somebody's grandma turned 100 years old and they're in a nursing home and they don't, and you get to go over and celebrate it and, and maybe present a proclamation, but at mm -hmm. least be there for them and let them know that, you know what? You're part of our city and you are important too. Yes, sir. And they really appreciate that. Yes, sir. So that's one. The other, as we talked about, is the graduations and mm -hmm. events that happen with Vance. So being retired military, that's all really important to me. So, uh, so that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you give me just a couple pieces of advice uh, that you could pass on uh, to do, not to do? Mm -hmm. um, that, that would be very helpful. Okay, um, I guess a couple of things, um, and we're doing it more now in the, pa in the recent past than we have in the distant past, but include the commissioners in a lot of things, and you've already mentioned including commissioners in this segment, mm -hmm. but uh, if there's a road opening on Maple, and they've been working on it, and it was a $2 million project, uh, go to the ribbon cutting, but invite the commissioner for that ward to go to, because it, uh, they really are representing that award, and it does give them some exposure over what's going on mm -hmm. in the city. So I think that's one of the things that I, I could have done better, that, uh, that I'm doing better now, but could have done better earlier. So that's one. Uh, the other would be, and it's kind of always been on my list and never got to it, is offer more town hall meetings. I would think uh, maybe one ta town hall meeting citywide where you preside, and maybe encourage each one of the commissioners to have ward meetings for their ward, maybe twice a year, and then tell them you'd be willing to come if they want you to come. And if they want to do it themselves, that's fine too. But I think you can never have too much communication with the people you represent. I agree. I agree. Uh, that's an excellent thought. I hadn't actually thought about that. Uh, I know when I was Ward 6 Commissioner, I actually, uh, we did have a town hall on some uh, apartments over on Willow. Yep. There were some uh, constituents that were just concerned about that mm -hmm. and when we don't know what's going on we tend to fear that and resist it right. I think as a city government if we can just be more open about those uh, issues there's not as much to fear yeah so agree. that's an excellent idea thank you mm -hmm. thank you and then uh, big question what would you have done differently if you had it to do again well, actually, you've uh, you're taking a preemptive strike on that. Uh, we we actually started this little program uh, and did it once a week. Uh -huh. And early on, I was involved like every week, especially during excuse me, especially during the COVID times and all that, trying mm -hmm. to keep everybody involved. And as time went on, the city kind of took that segment and used it as an education tool for everybody in the city. But I think taking part of that back and getting more involved from the mayor's standpoint once a month or twice a month. Uh, and like you said, uh, questions to the mayor mm -hmm. and be able to answer that. Because if one person has that question, chances are there's a whole lot more that yes, wants to know the answer to the question. Yes, sir. So, so right. I think that's the, uh, that's the one thing I think I would have done differently. I would have stepped up that a little bit better. Okay. Well, Mayor, I tell you what, you've done an amazing job. I had the opportunity to follow you as a commissioner, now I have an opportunity to follow you to be mayor, and and you've always been incredibly kind to me. You took every one of my phone calls, mm -hmm. and I do appreciate that, and I wish you the absolute best. Um, do you have any trips planned, or what, what's your thought whenever you wind this thing up next week? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, uh, actually, I've been married uh, almost seven years, and during that seven years, we haven't been able to travel much. Uh -huh. I mean, we we could have, but I'm I'm one of those people that if I'm, I'm if I'm in a job, I'm going to be committed to that job. Uh -huh. And uh, so I tried to do that and didn't take any vacations or anything like that. If I was traveling with the city, that was one thing, but personal vacations probably not very much. So I'm going to get to do a little bit more of that, and we're going to okay. start in June by going to Arizona. Uh, my wife's uh, high school is having their 50th high school class reunion, so we're going to go uh -huh. to that. 
Uh, I might travel, and this time, and st unlike when I was in the military, it's not, okay, if we get there in two days, then we can stay for three and then drive back for two. Right. Uh, it's going to be more like take our time on the way there, take our time on the way back, and come enjoy Come back whenever all. you're ready to come yeah. back. Yes, yeah. sir. So. Well, Mayor, I'll tell you what, we wish you the best. Thank you for everything that you've done, and I uh, appreciate the advice. I appreciate mm -hmm. the opportunity to know that you're going to be there, that I can still give a call oh, yeah. and get advice. And uh, would you come back and join us sometime? I sure will. Show? Just give me a call. Thank you so much. You bet. Appreciate Thanks, it. Good luck. Thank you.